Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your uh, April 2019 general reading. So it's a general reading so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Alright, so let's get started here. Um, Sag, you get pretty good energy. It's like you want to extend an offer of marriage to someone. Or, or Sag, you, Sag woman, you may get an offer of marriage. Or just to take things to the next level. Um, maybe with or to someone you have children with. Or someone you have a past with. Or someone you want to have children with. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do the cards have to tell the Sagittarius? Alright. Nine of Cups. Nice. Make a wish. It could possibly very well come true. Um, this is talking about being in separation from what you truly desire. What what uh, would fulfill you emotionally. Um, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Wow. And then the Sagittarius cards. The Temperance cards come out, comes out. So this talks about perfect timing also. Marrying the two. Uh, making something work. Nine of Swords. But being all up in your head about it. Having high anxiety in regards to maybe an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone is, um, you have high anxiety about. This is separation. Two nines. You're not with this person or you're not in close proximity or you're not in contact five of swords yeah you guys may have argued you may have had a change in this long-standing um dynamic there was interference or someone let interference and or jealousy a rage um judgment uh interfere in um yeah this long-standing dynamic marriage relationship someone you have a lot of history with. This is the heavy argument. The battle. Some of you try to one up someone. Try to make somebody jealous. Or, or they did this to you. Eight of cups. Someone had to have the strength. Someone just walked away. Somebody wanted to fight. And somebody else. The other person just walked away. Eight of swords. No. Now you're stuck in your head, Sag, possibly. You don't know how to get this back. You don't know how to get back. The Wheel of Fortune is seven. Seven of Wands. Fighting for this change. Standing for this change. You want something to change within this dynamic. Something has to end though. Could be with a fixed sign Scorpio. Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. The high priest is someone who does nothing. Could be done with a Capricorn. connected to spirit someone who may be a bookkeeper or accountant someone who works in an office maybe a woman uh, they may have blocked you what changed was they blocked you now you want to restart you want to reignite you want to give messages of well, I'll do if you do, and I'll go if you go, and I, a conditional message of going in a new direction to maybe the Queen of Swords, a Virgo, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You want to tell them that you want to work on things, you want to have the strength to press forward and work on this. You've also been watching them, or they watch, or they're watching you. Been gossiping about them. You talk about them. Three of Swords. Trying 
trying to change the minds of those around them in regards to this ending, this divorce and or separation. Trying to shift the energy in regards to making someone believe that, believe what you say about a particular person, maybe an air sign. But all the while wanting to offer emotional stability to Virgo, someone who you are maybe separated from. Or someone who's in deep contemplation in regards to the trouble and the jealousy within this relationship, this dynamic. Someone who you want to have communication with. Looks like back here they blocked you. Or you blocked them. You got wanting a second chance. Daydreaming about them. About how you can partner with them. Trying to get some type of recognition from them. Being uh, emotionally hurt over what already happened here. Not seeing that maybe with something or someone else you could have a successful relationship. Hesitating before making decisions here. Then here's you. Then here's maybe that other person. The death card and the nine of pentacles. Somebody's changed within your dynamic. They're more independent, more they, they flourish more. This could be you. Sagittarius, this could be someone you're dealing with. There's complete transformation with them. Could be the mother of your children, father of your children, someone you have history with, someone who you have loving memories of. Somebody who's warm. Oh, yeah, you have a relationship with someone you pray about. Wow. Someone who won't take to your offer. Hmm. I don't know, Sage. Um, this is you or this is the other person. You won't take to their offer. Keep in mind, this can be reversed. So, if you're listening and it's like, no, 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 no. It's the other way around. Just know it's the other way around. Don't. Don't. Have a hissy fit. Don't jump out of a window. Just um, know that it's the other way around for you. Okay. Um, where are we? Let's see if we can get a different message in a different day. What else can you tell our Sagittarius? All right. Oh, flipped out. Seven of water, ace of air, three of air. All right, this is the unfaithful spouse, someone who makes promises just to break them. Uh, you may be getting cut out. They cut you out, or you cut someone out, Sag, and now you guys are at, at in the brink of divorce and or separation due to infidelity. The moon is here, so things are working behind the scenes in regards to this connection somebody sneaks around at night someone is practicing moon magic the cycle has ended here we're dealing with the cancer Pisces Scorpio um, somebody have mom issues mother issues you need to deal with mom before you can press forward in any type of relationship dynamic, right? Somebody is trying to make something work happen with someone who is different. You want the same, you two want the same thing, but you guys are going about it in two very different ways. The dog and the, the wolf howling at the moon. You're doing the same things, but it's, you're very different people. Seven of fire. Yeah, somebody has blocked you because of something about the mom, mom issues. And you need to have strength or they're having strength in regards to dealing with you, not arguing with you, not being petty. Uh, good news in regards to money and growing your business. Business opportunity will come in for you. Wow. Really good news. 
um, you'll be able to have a legacy or you're creating a legacy for your family wow um, lots of recognition victory here people celebrate you complete transformation for you maybe in regards to a Scorpio could be trying to transform the dynamic in regards to a Scorpio person because you feel like the situation isn't over with them you still love them they make you very happy you have a family dynamic with them you have the idea to fix this and you're trying to fix it you're making the choice to be um, to create stability in your in your family dynamic in your home in your environment in this this dynamic at times you're still two minds about it but but God is still blessing this I think we're shifting here to something else Yeah, definitely. Some of you dealing with air signs, it's um you want to give them some type of truth. You're just waiting though, you're waiting around, you're waiting for the perfect time, you're waiting to see something differently, or they are um they're cold and cut off towards you. There are problems in this this existing dynamic. There's inequality here. How somebody views the other person. Page of Earth. You want to offer an apology to them. You hope and wish for the opportunity to either move toward them. You want them to forgive the past. Or you want to forgive the past. Yeah. You want the you want the old you want the old to be forgiven, the hurt to be forgiven. You want to move to a calmer, more calm state with this person. You want a second try. You want to solidify things. You're waiting to hear from them. Having patience and doing so, but also feeling like you'll never hear from them. You want to rush in and, and, and reconcile with them. Uh, let's see what the angel I'm gonna do angel answers somebody is just annoyed annoyed by I don't know either you're annoyed um, Sagittarius or somebody's annoyed by you you know um, so they they put you on a timeout, or you put them on a timeout, v vice versa. Um, this is somebody you have a, a, a long history with. You could even have children with them. Something about mom, moms or mom. Ooh, wow, a lot of cards. Grief work, emotions, relationship, dynamic, new exercise program. Be true to you. Welcome the new forgiveness. A new forgiveness is coming out. Uh, someone needs to either forgive you, you need to ask for forgiveness, or you need to render forgiveness to someone else. Welcome the new, new exercise program is pretty self-explanatory. Grief work, grieve the situation, do the work, speak to someone if you need to. What I am going to do is clarify, welcome the new, and forgiveness. What is new? I might even do relationship dynamics. Welcome the new. What's new for Sagittarius? Queen of 
Queen of Wands. New vitality, business, um, insight, spiritual, a higher knowledge of spirit, of life, the esoteric. Welcome the new. There might be a new woman in your life too if you're a man or you like women. Ten of Wands, yeah. Welcome the news. Something is over. A heavy burden carried is over. You may be moving. Um, you may be releasing. Something you, you voluntarily carry. You may be releasing some truth also. You may be releasing a job. The will. Wow. Yeah. Something's definitely over. And now good fortune is coming in for you. If you have... You know, presented the universe with good things. Good things come back to you. Only you know. I don't know. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Starman, the magician. It might be you that needs to ask for forgiveness. Trying to get make this thing right. I have the idea. I am the magician, the starman. To use all of my elements that I have to, to make this right. Two of Pentacles. You may have put someone in a love affair. It may have been a business deal that just wasn't favorable. Let's see. Prince of Wands. Yeah, you may have been in and out of somebody's life. You put them in a love affair. You need to ask for forgiveness. The Hierophant. In regards to maybe your marriage or a long standing relationship. You need to ask oh, this one flipped out. Three of Pentacles. Definitely could have been third party. In regards to what you were building, this was a, like a love affair. Because it's just when you put that time, energy, and effort into this this particular person. Relationship dynamics. Princess of Wands. So then you may need to go in a new direction than the Ace of Wands. Yeah. This also could be about, about recreating. A lot of marriage came up in the initial reading. In, in a marriage, in any long-standing relationship, how you make it last is recreating yourself. Recreating the spark. The Ace of Wands. The, um, the Zest. For the desire for it, the passion for this union. If you don't do that, it dies, right? Eight of Pentacles. Wow. Then when I said working on recreating, you gotta put the work and the energy effort into it. Prince of Cups. Princess of Cups. Give those loving messages, those sweet nothings, those Ten of Cups, because you got a family with this person. Is it worth throwing away that? Alright, so that is the reading. I hope that it resonated with you, Sagittarius. Um, if it did, go ahead and click the like button. That really helps the channel. If you want to request a personal reading, all information is below. Um, thank you. Know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Make sure you're commenting below because we're going to choose three lucky subscribers or commenters to receive a five minute free reading with me okay so take care guys bye